nine fighters for heavyweight championship of the world. God bless both of you. Say Kansas, come out fight. Michael Benton, his last fight prior to this one against Mark Wills, broke his right hand and won anyway. Didn't have the brace taken off of his right hand until the third week of September. George Foreman in the past has told us it is impossible for a fighter to come all the way back from an injury like that this rapidly. Yeah, it takes a lot of time before you get confidence, even if he ha ever had confidence. They said he was a good amateur, but the pros are totally different. Big question here, is Bent strong enough to handle Morrison's power? And the early returns say no. The thing is, if Morrison can control his burst, it off, couldn't control his burst of power. It was exactly what Ben expected. It was what Morrison told us he was going to do yesterday, George. He had the same question in his mind that I mentioned about whether Ben could handle his power. As it turned out, the equation worked the opposite way because Tommy gave Michael Ben the chance to get off. Right, and he was hurt. Tommy just stood in front of him and waited for him to hurt him back. He should have controlled himself, hurt him casually, coasted along, and just kept hurting his guy, but he didn't do it. All right, let's take a look at how all of this happened, George. As you take a look at an, a Michael Bent, who is clearly overcome by this sudden change in his career. This man has gone from virtual unknown to heavyweight title contender in a matter of seconds. Michael, turn around. If you ask me, there's too many firecrackers. All right, we're going to take a look at all three knockdowns. Now, early, Bent had been stunned by a left hook, so Tommy came in, and that's what happened. Walked right into an unnecessary mix-up that he needed not even have. Hurt the guy, hurt the guy, and the experience that should have taken him over. Then he gets right up and start to exchange again, which was not necessary. That made two. And at that point, there were still a minute and 40 seconds remaining in the round. And Morris and George showed none of the professional skills necessary to get out of trouble. It's called overconfident. He never would have gotten out there with a fighter like that that he feared and overwhelmed him in the first round. 